The woman accused of killing a former Arkansas state senator will face the death penalty in Randolph County. Rebecca O'Donnell pleaded not guilty to three charges, including capital murder and the death of Linda Cullen Smith. THV 11's Rolly Hoyt is live in Pocahontas after today's hearing. Rolly. Marlisa and Craig, in addition to those not guilty pleas, we also got more details in the case. The special judge, Robert Goodson, lifting the partial gag order that has been in place since June, ever since Rebecca O'Donnell was arrested five days after the discovery of Linda Collins Smith's body. The affidavit showing in detail that it was her son and her father who went by her house and looking for her, they hadn't heard for, from her for a couple of days, discovered a body wrapped in a blanket under a tarp in the driveway. It took the crime lab a couple of days to positively identify it. When they did, they determined it had been a homicide and that the body had been moved from inside the home. That's when investigators started looking at Colin Smith's security videos. They say that they discovered Rebecca O'Donnell on those videos, removing other security cameras from the home. All of that leading to the charges today and an explanation from prosecuting attorney Henry Boyce of why he is going to seek the death penalty. It's the number one question everybody wants to know the answer to. And I, I was in court and had the opportunity to, to declare my intent, and I did. O'Donnell appeared with two veteran members of the Public Defenders Commission. Uh, that's uh, Lee Short and Catherine Street. They had no extensive comments. They're also under the gag order still. And the deputies here were quite clever in getting O'Donnell in and out of the courthouse today outside doors so that the media wasn't able to ask any questions. Her boyfriend, Tim Loggins, was also among the gallery, but he chose not to comment today. The judge and the lawyers in this case all met for a couple of hours after the hearing. They think there's going to be several discovery motions and they can't really set a trial date at this point. They are aiming though for later this fall. Live in Pocahontas, Rolly Hoy, THV 11 News.